Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So this is the second question which I have faced. So encapsulation. So you might also face this question like what does the encapsulation does in Angular component, right? So v encapsulation in angular component what it actually means again like this is a intro question for fresher also but they won't go in very detail they will just ask you like what various ways are there emulated none and shadow dom but if your experience is more than four or five years experience they will ask you to explain it also so in this video we are going to see how emulated none and shadow dom differs right so i have this component now in this component i am loading another component that is but button component fine let me show you it also so if you see over here this button is coming from my reusable component okay now i will first see and i will add the view encapsulation encapsulation view encapsulation dot emulated so by default it is emulated only so when we say emulated, what it does actually, it will limit your CSS within your component only. Okay. What emulated does is it will limit your CSS within your component only. Fine. Now in this component, I will, I have a class that is title. And in that we have CSS blue. Let's make it red. Fine. And in my reusable, oh, let me just show you this first, like how it actually works. If you see this text, see when you add an emulated, oh, I'm getting dropped. When we add emulated, so every class you create, it Angular will add something unique proper to it. See, if I remove this emulated, so see. Still we have, because as I said, by default, it is emulated only. Even if you add it or not, by default, it will have emulated only. Fine. So what emulated does it for every class you create and everywhere you use it, it will create a unique identifier for that particular class. Fine. Now in this component, view encapsulated component, I'm rendering another component that is app button. Now in app button also, that is my reusable component. I will try to add a same class. What's the name of it? Title. So same class I'm adding over, over here also. In app button component, we don't have that class, okay? But I'm trying to use it from my parent component. Now see, why I'm getting debugger, my button component. Let me just comment this line. Now, if you see over here, we have added a class title over here. This title class is present in my parent component that is the encapsulation component. So that class we are, as I said, we have provided property that is emulated. So it will limit all the CSS from view encapsulation component within that component only. So currently that title class is not getting added on the button. Okay. Now, if I change this, sorry, where we are? Yeah. Encapsulation, encapsulation dot none. So see what happens now. See, on the button also that title class got carry forward. Means the class which I have created in my parent component is not contained within that component only child component is also able to access that class so see in the button also you can see title color is getting added and if you see that unique identifier is not present over here now one which was there in case of emulated so now understood when you use emulated it will restrict your classes within your component only but if you use none it might use that classes
on the child element or in the next component you are visiting. So it might leak your CSS classes. Okay. So emulated will, will not allow your classes to get uh, access by another component. The right word will be it won't leak your CSS. But in case of none, it might leak your CSS and other component might be able to access those CSS. So like same thing is happening over here. Okay. Now one more thing is shadow. Just see like how this uh, app view, uh, this component is looking. Now if I say it as a shadow, save. See what it does. Let me just expand this. It has created a shadow of the whole component itself. Now it is not understanding the bootstrap also. See that card got vanished. Means it will only use the classes which are present into your particular component only. Not in your project also. Not in the global CSS also. It will use CSS from your component only. Not from any other component. Not from your global CSS. Not from overall project also. So it will create its own uh simulated environment where it is going to use css only from the component itself right so now we no normally working with angular project we don't use this but let's say you have created angular element a reusable actual reusable component and you want to host it somewhere that angular element project there we use it so that we don't want to access because that angular element you are going to use it into another project so you don't want that what do we say uh, to use the parent CSS means if you are creating a reusable component and you don't want any CSS from the parent to access in your component, whatever you have created only that should access it. So in that scenario, you will go for the shadow. Okay. Again, just to summarize, let me just move it back. Remove it. Now see it. So in a short way, when you will use emulated, when you want to ensure that style don't leak out, means only within your component it should stay. None, it will allow other component also to access the CSS of you have created, right? Then shadow. So this you will use for isolation, means normally we use this in Angular element, actual reusable library project we create. There we use it. So this is view encapsulation. Okay, so we encapsulation is only limited to your how your CSS is going to behave by default. It is emulated. Okay, in case of emulated with every CSS, Angular will add something unique identifier like this. In none, it won't do that. So it might get carried forward with the another component also. Fine. So I hope I was able to clear this thing. That's it then. Thank you guys. Again, I will be coming up with whatever the question I get. Some of you are also sharing with me. Right. So that's uh, that that's only I'm covering over here. Fine. Thank you.